Hello guys and gals, it is kind of frosty here. We had some snowfall a few days ago, but it made these trees that we put around the park especially pretty. Now people um, paid for these trees, um, and the money went towards the uh, the um, town boards, the town boosters, uh, something. Went to a good cause. And um, people, these are all tribute trees to um, people who have passed on, I believe. And each tree has a tag that says who everything was. But then people basically paid money and uh, decorated the trees as they saw fit. Which I always thought was a good idea. Never did it myself, but uh, maybe next year I'll have a tribute tree to my mom or something. But it's always so neat that they have the, these um, these themes. It's really neat when it's really, really dark, though, because then the lights really show up. Especially since um, the gazebo up there really shows up at night. Yeah. I like the color schemes. And I think the snow makes these trees a whole lot more pretty, actually. any tree topper. Let me see if I can get down. That's beautiful. I didn't really take a very close look at these because usually it's pretty dark when I uh, walk by these. It gets dark so early here. It's only about... Oh, I can't see from here. I don't know how to access my clock without turning off my camera. So, uh... But it is after 4. I'd say it's probably 4.35, 4.36 in the afternoon. And I'm actually surprised it isn't darker than it usually is. Even all the street lamps. And these, even, even these are um, dedicated to people. Um, let's see here. Well, that didn't help. Maybe we'll see a, an odd squirrel or two. While we're walking, I don't know. I want to get to the other trees. They only cover about half the park, and we're taking the back way. What what we will do is we'll go up to the gazebo, though. I'll. I was just gonna walk all the way around the park, but we'll take a shortcut, go around the gazebo, go through the gazebo, because that's kind of cool. It's really cool when it's dark, though, because, uh... They have all the lights up here, as you can see. So basically, it's like a, it's like a rave. But it's neat because they replace the light bulbs with um, colored bulbs, which is really cool. And it has a nice effect on the floor, like a dance floor. It's amazing. And then they have the lights up there. But they keep the sidewalks well taken care of when it snows, which is good. And then there's these little plug-in boxes all over the park, which is good. I know it saved me a few times. And these are everywhere, these little plug-in boxes, which is really, really nice. And I think people have donated these, uh... How many people sit on them since it's, uh, dark, but... And cold and snowy and, you know, all that good stuff. The thing I really like is the building over there. You can actually see up inside the, uh, that's always neat. The building over there, they really need to tear it down, but there's rumors of asbestos being in there and they can't find anybody to actually take it out. They need to turn that into a parking lot because it's going to fall down. The back wall fell down a year or two back. It's lucky that nobody was hurt.
But yeah, I think these are actually real trees that they brought in from somewhere. I couldn't actually tell the difference between a real tree and a fake tree, though, so they might be fake. I don't know. All I know is I really like this program, and I like that they do this. Okay, well, that's part of them. We will continue from the other side now. Like I say, there's these uh, plug-in boxes everywhere. Which is always good to be close, plus there's Wi-Fi at the park. Which works most of the time. And it has a good radius, too. I mean, I have park Wi-Fi even a block or two away, which is uh, really good. Sometimes I have to turn off my Wi-Fi because uh, if I get too far away from it, then the signal dilutes too much. And, uh... Well, I like that one. Oh, this one likes the reds. I'm surprised the squirrels don't, not, don't um, take the decorations off the trees and, like, hoard them or something. I always thought, for some reason, the squirrels were attracted to shiny objects. Maybe I'm thinking of ravens. I don't know. I like this one. It's got a lot of pink to it. My mom would like that one. See, uh... I think we used to call it the Vietnam War, but I'm not sure exactly. All gave some, some gave all. And it gives all the different branches, branches of the military. Santa's workshop. Well, I think Santa didn't show up at his workshop this year. I think that he showed up down um, at a business down at the other end of town. Main thing is he showed up. The kids are always, always like that. Usually there's like a breakfast with Santa or something at the school, but I think this time it was held at the other end of town. I don't know. Snow is really melting fast, though. I don't expect it to be here very long. The sidewalks are slick. I'll have to be careful and not fall over. That's cool. I think I've almost seen all of these. I didn't count to see how many of these were. How many there, were, there are of these. Oh, I'm going to be careful not to fall down. Some of these trees are massive. But at least the city raised uh, quite a bit of money off these, which was goes to help the, uh, maybe it was the Chamber of Commerce that got the money. I don't remember. Either way, I just remember th knowing it was a good cause. And it helps to uh, remember people who have uh, passed on. And we have, I don't know if we, we looked at this, this one over here yet or not. But we'll look at it again. But yeah, there are a lot of pretty trees around the park. Oh, I forgot something. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna just uh, take a panning shot of all these trees as we go to where we're going. not really concerned about time, length of video anymore. Last time I checked, I had 16 hours worth of video footage that I could take, so it'll take a while to fill up all that. Thing is, I've taken lots of videos, I just haven't been uploading them. So it isn't a lack of content, it's just I've been going through some personal issues, so I haven't been uploading as much as I should. I'll go more into that later, but, uh, wow, that's a big, huge pile of snow. About as tall as I am, and I'm five foot. And we're almost there. Oh, there's a fire hydrant. Switch hands, but this hand's falling asleep. It's kind of cold. There we go. Uh, it says 445 and 30 degrees. Okay, it's below freezing. I think I've got a scarf over my face. Otherwise, I'd probably be cold. But I will usually wear lots of layers, so it's fine. We're almost there. My favorite parts right here is up here. I 
And uh, they used to have a different nativity set, but this time, this one is, I think, pretty new. I don't remember who did the, the initial one, but I actually really like this. It's kind of hard to see because it blends in with the snow. Oh, and um, I can't see the wise men or the camels from this angle. Oh, there we are. And I always think it's nice that they have a nativity set. It's probably one of my favorite things, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. We'll probably stop with a parting shot at the water tower, just because I really like the color. I wasn't so sure when they painted it that color, but it's, it's really a nice color. Let's see. This will let me zoom in. Yep. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. I'll try and upload this soon.